When I asked Jalen, he, he was in her room for, for over an hour. He, oh, oh, what happened? Uh, what happened? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't run across me before, hey, I go by Beauty. Before I get into the topic of today's video, I do have a few small business shout outs. The first small business I would like to shout out is Creative Ambitions. Y'all can see it right here. And she makes the cutest tumblers, y'all. I've really been into water bottles lately, like tumblers and stuff like that. I've really just been wanting to collect cute cups. So when she sent me a message, I was so happy, y'all. Look how cute this cup is. It comes with the straw and then the straw cleaner. That's very important. And y'all, like y'all, it's really good quality. Y'all can see how shiny it is. Super, super cute show. Shout out to Creative Ambitions. Y'all go shop with my girl. The next shout out that I have is for Handmade by Aaliyah. She seen my last video where I said that I was African. I'm Senegalese. And she seen the waist beads and stuff like that. So she decided to send me some waist beads. And she actually sent me one that represents my country's flag. Like, y'all, look how cute this is. And then she sent me this one right here. And she sent me this cute little note telling me why she picked blue and gold. So she said, the blue and gold waist bead represents the good vibes you give off in your YouTube videos. Blue for peace and honesty. Gold for compassion and optimism. I thought that was so cute. So sentimental, so sweet. Like, you really thought of that for me i appreciate Aaliyah. thank you so much i'm definitely gonna be putting these on thank you for that y'all go shop with my girl Aaliyah, handmade by Aaliyah. but y'all know everything's gonna be in the body the last shout out that i have for today's video is gonna be sue skin they sent me some of their body oil like y'all it really smells so just fresh clean i would say like a lavender type of smell and it's really soft it made my skin really soft i was just fresh out the shower i put it on Man, I put that junk on my whole body. It was so good. Like, I really do recommend y'all check them out. Here is their information. But, of course, I'm going to have everything in the description. Y'all check them out. Skincare company. Black owned. All that good stuff. So, y'all go check them out. Okay, y'all. Now that we got that out the way, let me go ahead and get into the topic of today's video. But, y'all know before I do that, I do have to get into my disclaimer right quick. Everything I say in this video, I found online. I'm not making this video to bash or slander anybody's name. And also, I am doing this video until... Um, I am doing this video under YouTube's fair use guidelines or policy, however you want to call it. Okay, y'all, as y'all can see by the title of today's video, this video is going to be about the Itch Twins. Now, if y'all haven't seen my video on the Famous Twins, I did mention the Itch Twins in that video. And in that video, I did get a few comments asking me to do a video on the Itch Twins by themselves. So I thought, let me go ahead and knock this video out right quick and make a video on the Itch Twins. And I actually have been keeping up with the Itch Twins for a while. So but if you don't know who the Itch Twins are, don't worry. I'm going to break it down for y'all and we're going to get into them right quick. So let's get into the Itch Twins. Okay, so Ayana and Iwana Bradshaw were born on March 20th, 2003 in a small city in Georgia, making them 20 years old today. They grew up with their mother and their father was not too involved in their life. And they have said that they are close with their grandparents as it seems like they stayed with them. The twins grew up very active, both on social media and in real life. They both enjoyed to dance and they would post videos dancing together on Dust Smash. And they started a YouTube channel together. And they both ran track and field throughout school until one of the twins, Ayana, found herself pregnant at the age of 14. The twins uploaded a YouTube video on how Ayana found out that she was pregnant, and this is still one of their most viewed videos to this day, at just over 1 million views. After this, they started to post more baby content and content in general, and people really took a liking to the twins because it seemed like they had a real tight-knit bond, and they were really funny and likable. When they were 15, Ayana introduced her baby daddy to the channel and posted a video to finally reveal him. But after this, he was not seen again until later on down the line. When they turned 16, the twins started to introduce their boyfriends to the channel and they started to do pranks. And they dropped the prank on their mom where they had one of their boyfriends act like he was really hurting one of the twins. This prank was controversial to a lot of people because DV is really nothing to joke about and the situation that they were portraying is really the true reality for some people. 
So some people thought that this was a poor judgment for the twins, but they were only 16. So they still had a lot of supporters and continued to drop videos. They dropped a video pranking their mom by popping up with a new boyfriend in her house. In the video, you can see the mama putting her hands on one of the twins and the boy who was playing the boyfriend. A lot of people in the comments felt like their mama did too much and they felt like she was toxic. While others defended her saying it was her house and she did ask the boy to leave several times. A few commenters also remembered the twins saying that they used to fight with their mom a lot and they now realize why. And this is probably the reason why they used to stay with their grandparents. Hey, I don't know you but get out of my house. Oh, oh, I'm Jay. Oh, I'm a boyfriend. She been a man for no reason. Like, oh my god. I mean, that I'm trying. I asked you to get out of my house. Who are you? I'm her boyfriend. I don't give a fuck. Who you is? I said get the now. I don't even know what you doing. You doing all that for what, bro? Like. Boy, if you don't get out of my goddamn house, I'm gonna muck two pieces of your ass. Get oh! out of my house. I said, get out of my house, fuck you up. I don't know who you is. I asked you nicely. And as a parent, I asked you to get out of my house. Now, in 2020, the It's Twins found themselves in some controversy when they claimed that their mom had put them out her house and they were about to be homeless. They started a GoFundMe so that they could get an apartment, and a lot of people donated. But they were confused when the twins came out of the blue, claiming that someone took the money. Supporters did not believe their story because all of a sudden they had some fresh braids and they had even got their makeup done. So it looked like they were spending the money. So the twins decided to make a YouTube video to explain the situation, saying that someone did take the money, but then they turn around and say that the money really wasn't for an apartment, but it was for a car. So the video really didn't make any sense but it also seems like they forgot to edit out a clip where Ayana basically tells Iwana to make it seem like they are not scamming their supporters, basically proving that they are scamming them. As far as all we know is we know we got our money back and we know we're going to get our money. So at this point, that's all that matters. If y'all still want to continue to send us, um, if y'all still want to raise money, we can put the um, link. You need to make it seem like we know who took the money. Okay. Like, we ain't scamming them, bro. We gonna say we know who took the money. It was somebody, you know, a scammer. Yeah. We can't sit there and say we don't know who took the money, so it may seem like we took the money that we already got. And, you know. Okay. Um, we we are aware of who took the money. Um, the identification, we actually don't know the person. person yeah. We don't know them, so. Who took the money? No, we still don't. As far as all we know is, we know we got our money back, and we know we're gonna get our money. So, at this point, that's all that matters. If y'all still want to continue to send us, um, if y'all still want to raise money, we can put the um, link. Once the supporters saw this, everybody was calling them out for scamming, and there was a lot of heat on the Itch Twins. So Ayana decided to make another video where she admitted that her and her boyfriend spent all of the GoFundMe money, and this caused her and I wanted to fall out. Okay, so we didn't tell y'all this in the last video about our car, but I'm just be honest with y'all, so... Me and my boyfriend, we did spend all the GoFundMe money. We spent everything. We did need more money to get the car or whatever. We needed that GoFundMe money, but I spent it all. Me and my boyfriend, we spent it all or whatever, but you know, I don't know. I really don't know how all that money went away, really. It just, we were just spending, 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 like, and that was the end of me and I wanted like, for real, for real, so. They then went to bash each other on social media, and while they did eventually get back cool, this caused Ayana to move to Palm Beach, Florida with her boyfriend. So Ayana drove down to Palm Beach in a car that a girl named Lacey gave to her, but Ayana claims that she paid her to rent it for one month. Now, Lacey claims that she gave Iwana the car to help her out, but she specifically told Iwana not to drive the car to Palm Beach, which I wanna did. Once Lacey found out that I wanna took her car to Florida, she took it to social media and claimed that she reported the car as stolen since everything was still registered under her name. Now, around the time when all this was happening, I wanna and their mom, as well as their granny, had took a trip down to Palm Beach to visit I wanna. 
So I want to lace them up on the situation about the car and they decided to go to the police who told them that the car was not stolen. Because no so I was thinking the same thing. I'm just like, she just want my reaction. Baby, truth be honest, let me tell you, you from a small city, Thomasville, Georgia, and a person saw it and they basically got you out your money. Yeah. They are this, I'm telling you, baby, people are car artists. Do whatever for money, baby. Then you need to listen so to now you mama. know, and I told you not to come here. Do not do come that, baby. Sleep behind our back and sleep behind our back. Ain't nothing but a child. It's Pulling not a real place. This this you car do not. Child. not yeah. You're a car mm -hmm. to drive around, and you gave her money. That's pretty much no, what happened. No, I thought she was getting me a rental for a month. Yeah, because she wasn't with her when she showed up with the car. I didn't think she was giving me a car. I didn't think I was paying her for a car. I thought I was paying for a rental for a month. Yeah, because she had the car first, That's so I didn't know it was a, a, a somebody the car. We She really she did thought it was a rental lease place. So okay. it wasn't. We got everything together. It, I'm that's no everything. Take your hand, but I'm I want to. I'm not saying you're dumb for that. You're not I'm dumb. Just it's saying. okay, baby. I'm just Listen, learning. You just, let me tell you. You're going to make. Listen sometimes sometime. to your parents. Sometime. Sometime. You're going to make mistakes. Just, just learn from it. Just learn from it. Whatever happened. You gave money to somebody, you had the car for a while. So yeah, so like it's that's yeah, yeah. about the money. But another situation came up. Well, she had money whatever. in the car. Is that, we, we can't, can't do, do that. that. I can't do anything. But Lacey still had clothes at her house that belonged to Iwana. So they arranged for a date for Iwana to come and get her clothes. And she would give Lacey her car back. But according to Iwana, when she pulled up, Lacey's people were on a different type of timing and clearly wanted to fight. And they ended up jumping Iwana. So basically, that night before that, the night before that, I was with, talking to that police. I got jumped, and I probably can give you. I got jumped, so I got scratches everywhere. Like I a whole bunch my, of girls. She brought a whole bunch of girls out there to jump me in. When we walked outside, we walked outside to get our clothes, and we was handing her the key to the car so she could get the car, cause she claimed we stole it and it was a rental, but it wasn't. So the trade was we get our clothes, they get the car. But when I went outside, tomorrow I was being really messy. She was like, she was like, um. She was like, don't be scared now. And I'm like, scared of what? But like, we supposed to be out here handling business. We supposed to get our clothes. First of all, it's already bad enough that I'm stranded out here. Like, and I don't know nobody out here. And I'm still trying to figure out a way home. But others say that I want to pull up with her boyfriend who ended up putting his hands on one of the females and that I want to was trying to fight Lacey who was pregnant at the time. So she had to end up fighting a 15 year old. But either way it go, I want to continue to stay in Palm Beach and she would visit her twin every once in a while. But their supporters saw the distance as a good thing because it seemed like they were both maturing during this time apart. But eventually, I want to move back in with Ayana who had her own place and they lived together again. While they stayed together, the twins fell out multiple times and they would run to social media bashing each other but they always work it out in the end as they are twins at the end of the day. You can tell the twins have two very different personalities. A lot of people also notice that both twins have a tendency to drink a lot and will often be on live drunk and getting into altercation. Get out! Get out! Do you want to fight? Get out! Do you want to fight? Get out! Get out right now! Get out right now! We're going to beat you Get out right now! Yeah, it's one. I was taking. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, it's Trump. Okay, okay. Okay. Hey, it's Trump. Okay, okay. Okay. If you want y'all, if y'all want y'all Trump, y'all can get y'all Trump. I'm not paying for no two fucking orange and Trump. No okay. discount, and I'm not paying for that. Okay. I'm not, cause I ain't at the house. I don't get. This girl walked up when you had a shrimp in the damn mall. So make it clear that I'm not paying for no two orders of shrimp. I don't get it. Yeah, I got you. Did you, you want it the else? first time? You want something else? I want my crawfish. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That's Another order want. of crawfish. Because my crawfish in there, y'all taking my plate. And I want my headless shrimp. Show me your head on. You want whole shrimp? You got my whole shrimp. Okay. So that's what you want. Shrimp. Yeah, and I'm and you want your crawfish back. Yeah, the whole crawfish. And I'm not paying for those. Either. You're not paying for what? Those crawfish. Now, if you're eating them, you have to pay for them. I'm not paying for two orders of five Ma'am, I'm telling you, you have to pay for them. If you're eating them, you have to pay for them. So you need to get my plate. But you're going to pay for it, though. That's what I'm telling you. you and I'm not paying for the shrimp. You want to get your little fingers and get all the shrimp from out the plate? You don't have to get disrespectful with me. You don't have to get disrespectful. You're taking my plate and I'm sitting here eating. One thing about me, I'm going to tell you something about it. Just hold on. Don't try me. Don't try me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm telling you about your hands, though. That's all I'm saying. Yes, baby. Yeah, I'm off going to get yes, da, 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 da. I'm just telling you about your hands. Yeah. You know? I want you to put my hands in your face and all that. Well, I was just letting you know they too close to my face. That's all I was saying. Well, we were just vibing, though. Okay, but now I'm just letting you know what it is. 
Is it liquor? What, me? Yeah. No, it's the liquor for you. No, it's, <laughs> it's the liquor for you. Both twins have also had some run-ins with the laws. Ayana posted a video in 2021 claiming she went to jail and Iwana has admitted to having family violence charges. Now in 2022, Ayana's baby daddy came to social media and announced that he had custody of their child and that Ayana had lost custody of her daughter. When asked why, he alleged that his daughter was being touched inappropriately by one of Ayana's family members. It's because the mother of my kid that everybody loves so goddamn much. Wrong came Ayana. Up. Ayana, right? She, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna say this. You know what happened, but something happened with my daughter. And instead of her, instead of taking her daughter's side, she took the opposite side. And with that, nigga, she lost whole, the whole custody of her daughter to me. When DFAS took Ivory from her home because they said she's not safe enough for Ivory, it was kept a secret at first. That's what it was. Mm. It was kept a secret at first, and when the secret kept, it couldn't be the, the secret couldn't be kept no more. Once you go to the doctor, homie, once you go to the doctor, ain't no more, ain't no more secrets kept. The doctor, the mm. one reported to, to defense, homie. Ayana came online to address this, and she did not deny it. She just stated that it was personal. At the end of the day, it is what it is. A clock chaser gonna be a clock chaser, but at the end of the day, I want some memories. Mm. At the end of the day, certain stuff that's private between my daughter, certain stuff that go on, it's not like a cover up or nothing like that because I originally took my daughter to the doctor. So it's not like nobody was trying to hide anything under the bush or nothing like that. It's just certain stuff, cer certain stuff is not supposed to be in nobody else's ear. You know what I mean? Like social media. My mama, she throwing shade. Come on up. Why is I don't turn it, turn it, turn it, turn Girl, I lost my baby to CPS. Oh, you lost your baby and your baby's never coming back. At least my baby's sleeping in her bed peacefully, bitch. You can never see her baby. <laughs> my baby, my baby got little with thinking she got much. Her life. My baby never got much. But her daddy got on the internet trying to make it seem like she got. My baby got bullied. She had to go to a whole nother school. Also in 2022, the twins got into it with the Famous Twins, which I covered in my Famous Twins video. Nowadays, the twins live separately and they seem to not see each other as they used to, but of course they still come around each other. But like I said, they tend to fall out with each other as well as their significant others. They frequently come on live when they're into it with their boyfriends, but they are young, so I feel like it's normal to argue in relationships. But a lot of their supporters feel like their relationships are toxic. Hey. Going to the store without me. You didn't hear that? If you want to go cheat, go call the little homeboys that you be riding with all day. But in my shit's not finna try me like that. You feel what I'm saying? She probably know the because she got tired of motherfucking taking care of you. Tell them that. This nigga cheated on me. Like. Overall, the twins are still pretty young. They still have a lot of growing and maturing to do, and they have definitely came a long way. Y'all know me. I'm wishing everybody the best. I just wanted to go ahead and do this video because I did see it being requested, and I did already talk about them in my Famous Twins video. So I thought, why not? Let me just go ahead and do their own video. But let me know what y'all think about the twins. Do y'all like their personalities? Do y'all think they messy, whatever? Y'all just let me know what y'all think about the situation in the comments. And y'all remember, if y'all looking for a Tumblr, check out my girl Creative Ambitions. If you looking for some waist beads, check out my girl Handmade by Aaliyah. And if you're looking to try some new skincare products, check out Sue Skin. But that's it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch y'all in my next one. Bye, y'all.